This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Everyone, we're back again, and now I'm with... This is Nate Wings. And Nate, how excited are you to be here today? I'm super stoked. I love coming to these welterweight shows. They, you know, really shine a light on a lot of guys who, who have some exposure and guys who don't necessarily get the exposure they deserve. So it's a really nice blend of talent you've heard and just guys you keep an eye on. Very cool. What makes welterweight different than other shows? Uh, every single guy on this roster is just as hungry or more hungry than the guy next to him. So we're all we're all trying to put on the best match possible and all trying to outwork each other. So that, that makes these shows better than the rest. How are you feeling about your match today? How do you think it's going to go? Well, obviously, I think it's going to be in my favor <laughs> because I want to be the champion. And <laughs> I think I prepare harder than Gory, mm-hmm. um, but it's not going to come easy. Yeah. And uh, But I'm up for the challenge. How scary is Gory in person? Uh, he can be an intimidating guy. Like he does, he's not the tallest guy. He doesn't have the greatest physique, but like he can play mind games. He knows how to yeah. get get deep in there, uh, and he keeps he keeps company around him. You know, so you got to be on edge. You got to. And he smells bad. He yeah. smells bad. I hear that a lot about the wrestlers. That some of them kind of have an odor to them. A few do. You know, I keep <laughs> up on the odor and brush my teeth. You know, <laughs> some cologne in the bag. You know, got to cover your bases. How long have you been wrestling? I've been wrestling nine years. Wow. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What shows, where are you usually at? Like, what uh, parts of the country are you usually wrestling wrestling in? Uh, I'm usually in the Midwest. You can find me uh, at Rockstar Pro every Wednesday and the first Friday of every month. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wrestle for uh, Merge in Indiana as well as Prodigy Pro. Uh, And just, you know, the occasional sporadic booking all over, really. was a did championship wrestling for uh, Hollywood last year. That was pretty cool. Uh, they run a nice little show out there. But yeah, that's pretty much where you can find me. Oh, and welterweight wrestling. PCW should probably play the show I'm on. Is this your first welterweight show? No, this this is my third, third show. You, yeah. So you've actually been able to be a part of every one of these going. Yeah, yeah. I was staple. I was, you know, I think I was maybe the first or second match on the first show, and been able to watch it grow and see everything and. Watch it progress. It's been really cool. It's become quite a large show from where it started. Yeah, it draws like a, a nice little crowd on the internet. It, it, mm-hmm. There's intrigue ever since like the Cruiserweight Classic guys. Like mm-hmm. that's where a lot of guys from this generation they grew up watching guys like in from the Cruiserweight division like Dean Malenko, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, those guys. So like. That's what a lot of today's wrestling is based around, and it's what people want to see. It's it's not necessarily the land of big guys and body slams. More finesse and yeah, people people like athleticism. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Where can they find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Nate Wings, and my Twitter is at Nate Wings. Keep it nice and basic. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it, so that everybody can follow along, and get to know you. Yeah, uh, it's been great talking to you. Oh, good. Good luck to you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.